Well, I hope you had a better Valentine's night than Thomas Tuchel, uh, the Bayern coach. He could be in the Lonely Hearts Club by the time the second leg comes around, according to Damien, anyway, in commentary. Um, Jonathan Walters, Lazio deserving winners on the night? Yeah, I thought the game plan worked perfectly. They, they, were, they were resolute in the shape right from the start of the game. I said what it said at half-time, Sarri will be the, the happier of the two managers. And then uh, one chance, it's a penalty, but one chance he puts it away. Could have been two or three come the end of the game and Bayern were, Bayern were way off the, the, the pace of the game and big questions to be asked now of the manager. Big questions. That man wasn't going to miss, was he, Chiro Immobile, when he got the chance from the, from the spot? Big questions, Brian, because that's back-to-back -back defeats, as David uh, said in commentary, that doesn't happen too often. Um, and, and they looked a bit of a mess, didn't they? Yeah, that's only a tour defeat in 33 away games in the Champions League. Not used to losing at all. Um, I can have no complaints tonight. They didn't create any chances. Harry Kane was fairly anonymous, or he didn't affect the game, I'd say. And so many of the individuals were poor. Collectively, they were poor, but individually, you know, Müller huffed and puffed in the first half. Sané was dreadful. Muziala threatened in the first half, but faded. And the influence of Kimmich and Goretzka was limited too. They didn't create, didn't make any chances. Centre-backs did all right until Upa Meccano made an awful error. The full-backs were poor, I felt, in the game. Great tactical performance by Sardi's team. Defended well, defended compactly, broke out more threateningly, I'd say, in the second half. And it was no surprise that they got the goal. They got, no, it was a penalty. But they almost had a, two or three goals as the game went on and Bayern were down to 10. So it sets it up very well for the second leg. Bayern not gone, but uh, it's a poor result yeah, for them. Poor. Yeah, I mean, look, they have the second leg to come. We'll have a couple of players back from injury, uh, you'd imagine, by then, three weeks' time. But it's funny, John, uh, Brian did a piece about Providel, the goalkeeper for Lazio before the game, they thought might be a key man. <laughs> Bayern didn't have a single shot in target. And that's over the 180 minutes, if you include the defeat to Leverkusen at the weekend, that big title showdown. And tonight, that's one shot in target over that 180 minutes. And that was from a fullback and from Azraoui at the weekend. With the team that they have out, surely they must be expecting better than that. Well, the front four they had in the, in the game, we said. Tom, Thomas Muller's on there, he can score goals. Harry Kane's frightening goal record. Musiala and Leroy Sané was thoroughly disappointing again tonight. You expect a lot more. Something's not right. There was no tempo in the match. Sometimes when you're playing against a team that just defends their 18-yard box or has 11 players really compact, you've got to create that tempo in your team. And that's what I felt Muller was in the team for. But even he didn't have the impact that I thought he would have. And he just looked to be passengers. Kane was dropping deep. We were talking about when we were in the game. Kane was dropping so deep. Who's going to score the goals? He's picking mm. the ball up on the, on the halfway line in a left-back position. They were really, really poor. I was disappointed um, with Sane, especially. Um, they had nothing. No chances whatsoever. And the only thing the keeper had to do was come and collect one cross near the end of the game. That was it. Does that, does that go back on the manager for you, Brian? That's a collection of players that they have, as John says? Yeah, I, I think the players are missing a big deal. Uh, I think Alfonso Davies is a huge miss for them, that partnership down the left-hand side when Gnabry and uh, Sané play. Lamer is, 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 a, is a miss for them as well. Gnabry to some degree, Coleman to some degree. But, you know, these are quality players. You could probably... Um, make an exception for Muziala in that he's only 20 years of age. But the rest of them are all experienced, very experienced international players. And in some cases, bought for big money and brought, brought, brought back to the club, Harry Kane, big money. And they just didn't perform. I, I was most disappointed on the full-backs. They didn't give them... Mm. I, I associate Bayern Munich with full-backs pushing on, being effective. Guerrero, when he was at Dortmund, beating pit players in the final tour, coming inside, scoring goals. Didn't do, didn't do it tonight. Masrui didn't do anything, I thought. And uh, it was a very poor performance. There's something, something wrong. Obviously, I, I thought they'd pick up from the weekend that there'd be a huge effort made in building morale and making sure they were at it you, tonight. You think there's something underlying there? Well, it would, it would appear that way. But look, I, you know, you get a win at the weekend if the manager is still in place and it picks up again and off you go. But the, tonight, they added to... Uh, Saturday's performance is so poor, no goals, no shots, no tempo, what you use, no tempo to the mm. game.
Indeed, uh, something rotten in the state of Byron, according to the lads.